Alongside Miranda Kahn on the anchor desk and Ford O'Connell at Newsmax Washington, J.D. Hayworth welcoming you back here to America's Forum. You know, Miranda, when I served in Congress, I meet a lot of different people who call this country home, although they have different ethnic heritages. Right, for good and, reason. And uh, the great thing about our melting pot is a lot of folks from Romania I got to know out in Arizona, my constituents, and they talked about escaping the horrors of uh, Soviet domination in the Cold War. Our next guest is uh, such a person as well. Let's say hello to Peter uh, Mauterman. Um, Mamorano. Mamorano. I'm sorry, Peter, but I know he's got a new book entitled... Did, did I get it right, Peter? Peter Mamorano? Yes, that's perfect. Great. Well, we know your new book is entitled Beyond My Dreams, From Communist Romania to the Oval Office. Peter, let me just ask you, tennis was your ticket to freedom, but take us back to your youth and the oppression you lived under uh, there in communist Romania. Yes, of course. Uh, Russia took over Romania when I was 10 years old. 1948, uh, they brought oppression, they brought uh, poverty to the Romanian people, and also they brought the KGB. And they terrorized the Romanian people. Terrible. My life as a child was very bad. We live under poverty, and when I was 10 years old, I had to get a job as a ball boy to help my mother to purchase a medication on a weekly basis. The doctor told me that if we don't have enough money, my mother would not survive. So I worked seven days a week and I was bringing home between a dollar which will help me to buy the medication for my mother. Peter, when did you decide that tennis was going to be your way out? At what point did you say, I've got to leave Romania and this is how I'm going to do it? Well. I started to travel, I played professional tennis for many years and I played in 51 countries all over the world in 119 cities. I got a taste of the freedom. Romania was a horrible, horrible place to live and I lost my family one by one and then when I, that's the time when I decided that I would live, I would live in a country or they recognize the basic human rights and that was my dream to come to America one day. And how do you feel now that you've been here? Because I talk to people, I've met people from Romania, and they say that their economy, their economy is still in dire straits. It is, it is. Uh, after the revolution in 1989, uh, Romania recovered somehow, but it's still, still you know, a, a, not a great place to live. And I was always grateful, and I always be grateful for this country, the way they received me, the way they treat me and they help me to rebuild my life. Peter, as we take a look at what Russia is doing now uh, in, uh, in the Ukraine and other areas, do you fear for the future of your native Romania from a Russian resurgence there in Eastern Europe? I do because Romania it's, has almost a border very close to Ukraine. And, uh, you know, the truth is you cannot trust the Russians. Uh, in my opinion, I'm not a politician, but that's what I think. And um, Romania is under tremendous pressure today uh, for that reason. Peter Marmorano, we thank you very much for your insights. Again, the name of the new book, Beyond My Dreams. That is the book where Peter Marmorano chronicles leaving communist Romania, coming to the United States. Again, tennis was his ticket out. And we are so pleased to have some time with him. Ford O'Connell, Newsmax Washington. Friend, we thank you as always for inspired debate. And uh, we'll figure out a way to get you and Rick Unger to, uh, to mix it up uh, in, in the allotted time. Great to have you, sir. We're a traveling road show, J.D., don't worry. That's always good to have you, pal, and to you our friend. You a woman in there to break that up. Well, as a matter of fact, you. we will make sure that, Miranda, you moderate that next debate. Miranda, we thank you, as always, for your time. Time, our four-letter word. Uh, in just a, just a few minutes, uh, Midpoint will come on. It shows up at high noon Eastern time. That'll be followed by the Steve Malsberg Show at 3 p.m. here on Newsmax TV. For us, we'll be looking for you tomorrow, 9 in the East, 6 a.m. in the West. For now, stay brave, stay free, and stay tuned.